Welcome back to some more Umineko when they cry. So uh, where we last left off, you know, the eight remaining. Okay, let's see how many characters are alive at the moment. Eight are the remaining. Even though Battler, I think, yeah, I think Battler and Jessica. What, was it the two? Fuck, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure there were like two characters that said were like, we rather remain at the parlor. But you know, they don't got any other choice to but to go to um, Kinzo's study room. <laughs> oh my goodness. Last part, it took them long enough to actually believe in the point of Beatrice and you know the f they all admit that Kinzo isn't a freaking clown good lord I mean who knows well I, I hard to tell it's, it's just you know I'm glad there was some progress for once anyway let's continue reading I had arrived in front of the portrait of Beatrice it wasn't as massive as the one in the entrance hall, but that portrait, which must have been drawn by some famous painter, was still just as intimidating in this in this smaller size. Below it, just like in the entrance hall, was the epitaph that supposedly hinted at the location of the hidden gold. <gasps> what the? Ikenia da. Sacrifices. What the hell has he been on? Why are you so upset? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I Pretty sure it said somewhere in the uh, the epitaph. In the of it. Offers to six chosen by the key as sacrifices, you know? So it was the first six deaths. Tear apart the two who are close, which were Eva and Hideyoshi. And that's where that was eight. Pretty. This one is canon, which is nine. Gouge the head and kill. Gouge the chest. So you gouge the chest and kill means it, it has to be with canon. Praise my noble name. I think the third twilight means it was Kinzo. And the offer to six was the one that ended up dead in the uh the uh that storehouse. I mean it has to be, right? Because if if that was the six, because I'm pretty sure if I come up with the names I'll be like uh, there's no point in explaining it anyway. And the two part, tear apart the two who are close. It's not Shannon because Shannon was part of the six. It was Hideyoshi and Eva. Pretty sure that's part of it. I, I'm guessing Third Twilight is Kinzo. I, I could be wrong. Six sacrifices. Both of my eyes opened as wide as plates. Everything's been predicted right there from the very beginning. Everyone crowded around. And the same expression of shock rose to all of our faces. That's right. It's right there in the epitaph. On the first twilight, 
offer the six chosen by the key as sacrifices. Like, you know, I'm pretty sure that it's the six that I could say, you know. Rudolph, Kyrie, Golda, Shannon, Kraus, and Rosa. I'm pretty sure that's the six. <gasps> ああ、間違いない。最初に死んだのはロクリンだ。そして、シャッターに書かれた魔法人じゃねえ。ヘブライ語でも生贄を捧げると書いてあった。ああ。マリアは最初からそう言ってる。What the fuck, Bella? Did you just realize that just now? That's right, Maria said it right at the start. Right after we found the six bodies, when Maria was in the parlor watching TV, she said it. Ugh. The culprit isn't human. It's just the sacrifices chosen by the key. So is the location of the hidden gold is like some sort of fucking bait or trap? I don't fucking know. たしかこの日分には大勢の死が必要になるはず。と確かに。ざっと読むだけでも6+2+5で13人は死ななくちゃならないことになってるぜ。Oh boy. Um, <laughs> uh, no. If I go to tips, I'm pretty sure if I go through it again. No. Six, eight, nine. Thirteen. Okay, I miscounted. It looked like when I did looked at it, it said fourteen, but it's just, I guess, well, thirteen people must die. 普段はこの島には何人いるんですか? シオニンのシフトにもよるでしょうが、お父様、夫に、私にジェシカ。そしてシオニンが2、3人。昨日今日は5人いてもらってますが、普段はそこまでいません。ってことはだ。この儀式を実行しようとしたら、普段じゃ生贄が足らないってわけだ。いや、違うぜ。じいさま、福音の家から不気味な儀式の生贄にするために使用人を取ったという噂。つまりなんだよ。生贄の人数を増やすために使用人を増やし、さらに人数が集まる年に一度の親族会議はこの儀式を取り行える年にたった一度唯一のタイミングだったってことじゃねえか。When Jessica screamed this, Maria broke out in that creepy laugh, looking truly pleased. Like throwing a sandal and saying that if it lands right side up, tomorrow will be sunny. Or saying that tomorrow will be a good day if a coin lands heads up. There are many little superstitions like that. Sometimes when your luck is down and you get bored, and you roll the dice and get three sixes, you want to believe it's a portent of some miracle. When flipping a sandal, you have at worst a 50% chance. Even if you get it right side up, it's not worth much. 
But if you carelessly roll three dice, and they all come up six, you might think that that's a small miracle. Why a sandal though? Wouldn't a coin work as well? Like heads or tails? So the おじいさまが使用とした魔術は多分そういうもの。鍵が無作為に選ぶ生贄の抽選。それに万が一自分が当たることがないように。この島に最も人が多くなる日を選んで儀式を実行した。馬鹿馬鹿し。これらが全て怪しげな魔法の儀式の過程で起こった事件だと言い出すのですか。なつきよ。she couldn't quell the fear that a scorpion charm might be the only reason she was still safe. If I hadn't received that charm from Jessica and hung it from my doorknob, would I have been killed, mixed in along with those six? And the strangest part is, even though I hung the charm from the inside of my door, they couldn't get through that door. The culprit knows the charm from outside the door and gave up trying to open it. A human couldn't have perceived that. A charm meant to stop something that was not human had done exactly that. Impossible, impossible, impossible. だが、ナツキさん。確かに自分の内容はその後も謎とる。第二の番に残され死者は寄り添う二人を引き裂け。I, I'm pretty sure that was I was trying to assume. That was my assumption. What the fuck? I'm sorry, but I can't decide that way. I'm sorry, but I can't decide that way. つづく第三の番の言葉を手紙に書きその場に残したんだからねそそうだな第二の番を実行し第三の番をその場に残した第三の番はまさにさっき夏おばさんが読んだ通りだぜ On the third twilight, those who remain shall praise by a noble name. Oh, uh, if you read it this way, it just keeps going on, doesn't it? On the fourth twilight, gouge the head and kill. Gouge the head and kill. George Anaki's parents were killed with those demons' ice picks gouged into their heads. Okay, so that was part of the kills. But if they were the second twilight, someone else must must have been gouged in the head. Okay, that's the confusing part. Like right here. You know, if it says gouge the head and kill, I thought this was something to do with like, oh, they killed off Kinzo and... What's, I thought the fourth Twilight has something to do with the second altogether. Because both Eva and Hideyoshi died from the freaking ice pick like weapon like lodged into their heads. Those who remain shall praise my noble name? The 
didn't notice. Jisama mo miken ni, ya. Atama o egurarete da. Jisama ga Daiyo no ban no gisei sha. You could say that. Got like lodged in the head and got burnt. Well, lodged in the chest is canon, so. There, there, there we go. Canon kun ni tsuite wa hanin to no toppatsu teki na sougou ni yoru hankou da to omotte da kedo. Chiga. Yeah, you, oh, you tell my goodness. Dare ka hitori o obiki da shi. Mune o tsuranuku koto o. はじめから狙っていたんだ。もし犯人がこれを謎っているとしたなら、また三人が死ななければならないというのですか？ Gouge the stomach and kill. On the seventh twilight, gouge the knee and kill. On the eighth twilight, gouge the leg and kill. いいや、そいつはどうかな。あと3人が死ねば第9の番になる。見てみろよ。On the ninth twilight, the witch shall revive, and none shall be left alive. 私たちはベアトリーチェに Yes. Once the puzzle is made, Be the character Beatrice is going to show up and she's going to kill you all anyway. <laughs> oh, I want to witness it. It's not like you had a choice. You mean what was grandfather after? He's after Beatrice, of all things. Is this another word I called heaven? On the tenth twilight, at journey's end, you shall attain to the power of the Golden Land's treasures once and for the last time. The witch shall praise the wise and bestow four treasures. I gotta say, Kinzo got balls. ほら、四つの宝の二番と三番を見てごらんよ。一つはすべての死者の魂を蘇らせ。一つは失ったアイスラも蘇らせる。つまりおじいさまは自分がこの儀式の途中で死んでしまっても。やがては復活できると信じてた。バカバカしいぜ。盲言だぜ。だ、だ、ミン。死んだらそれまでだろ。死者は生き返らない。人類が何千年もかけて追い求め。
死後の世界で再会できて蘇ることができるとかそういう類だろ<笑>ジェシカの言い分通りだとするならこいつはつまりおい先短いじいさまが恋に狂っての自殺まがいいや壮大な無理心中ってことなのかその可能性は考えられるのですかわかりません親方様は時に千年の未来を見越されるほどの聡明なお方ですしかし凡庸な私にはそれが狂気としか映らないこともあります。それってイエスって意味だよな。But what if we can't be sure? 熊沢さんはどうなんだよ。わ、私は何も知りません。ええー、知りませんとも。知っていたなら今日この島にいると思いますか手病でも何でも使ってお休みしていますよええー、おじいさまの長年の友人である南條先生のご意見はげ源氏さんに同じです。金蔵さんは凡人をはるかに超越した方だったそこにある種の人間離れした力すらも感じることはありました私にも金蔵さんが何を考えてこの碑文を残されたのかわからない一つだけ言えるのは仮にこの筋書きを作ったのがお父様であっても実行しているのは別の人間だということです確かに少なくともじいさまとカノン君を襲った犯人は他にいるしかもそいつはこの碑文通りまだ事件を続けようとしているたたちが深く考えなかった最初の手紙あれには何て書いてあっただろう We thought back to the recit recitation of the letter last night. Beatrice had proclaimed something inside it. She had proclaimed that according to her contract with Kinzo, she would collect everything at the Ushiromiya family as interest. But then she had also revealed a special clause. If someone discovered the location of the gold grandfather had hidden, that right would be lost. When the letter was read, grandfather was still alive, but at, the, but at that time it had already been sealed with wax by the head's ring, which meant grandfather had handed the ring over to Beatrice while he was still alive. If we take a straightforward approach, Maybe we should assume Beatrice is carrying out that strange contract with Grandfather guaranteeing her that right. In other words, this was the same as saying Grandfather knew of and approved of the contents of that letter. In other words, it's basically a joint message from Beatrice and Grandfather, telling us that Beatrice will start collecting interest if we don't solve the riddle. In other words, Grandfather and Beatrice. We're demanding that we try and solve the riddle of that epitaph, and if we couldn't, they were saying that the massacre would be carried out according to the epitaph. What does that mean? What do they want? I don't have a clue what it means. <laughs> no words. Hora! 
ベアトリーチェからまた手紙だよ They didn't even get a chance to read it in the entire thing yet. What? He's like, what? 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 Does that mean that Maria is going to read it out loud? Maria was pointing at the top of the table, where the canned food everyone had been eating just now still lay. A western envelope from Beatrice certainly was sitting there, but so what? 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 Aunt Natsuki let out a hysterical, hysterical cry, looking between her own hand and the table. Because the envelope she had just opened was still grasped in her hand. So why is there still an envelope on the table? Wait, what the fuck? So, if, if the second. So, if Natsuki already hold out the second envelope, and then the third one appeared on the table. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what I. That's what I was reading. Jordan,じゃねえ。ここには俺たち八人しかいねえんだぞ。急に目がこっそり忍び込んでいたなんてこともあるわけがねえ。俺たちがちょいと肖像画の前に集まっていたわずかの隙しかないんだぞ。Oh shit. She's holding out the gun. Aunt Natsuki was pointing the rifle at Genji and the others, bellowing at them. Genji san was overpowered, his face looking like he didn't have a clue what was going on. Of course, I felt the same. But a few moments late, I reached the same conclusion Aunt Natsuki had. Until just a few seconds ago, there had been no letter like this on the table. And nobody entered this room. That means someone among us. Oh my god, not this joke. Damn it. Among us a place that there during the few seconds when everyone was looking away, preoccupied with the, with the portrait. Someone among us. The fucking sus. The jokes. Oh my god. With the portrait. Let's read it out. Let's find let's see what the second envelope reads. Oh. Oh. I picked it up. It was still sealed with wax. Even without disturbing its contents, I realized that this was an as yet unopened envelope. An unknown envelope. Without relying on the paper knife, I tore it open. And pulled out the letter inside. The contents were as follows. It's like they were on a time limit. This is a twisted game. Te, 
surely this is what says that the update praise my name so that's why the second is second yep it's definitely what is read out on the third letter from the witch I'm not gonna read this out loud because it's already explained anyway so okay that's what it says what is your list? The fuck? Is that why you're trying to point your gun at us at a time like this? Not only you're trying to point a finger at us, you have a fucking gun.私は肖像画の前に行く直前、ここに缶詰を置きました。その時、このような怪しげな手紙は決して置かれていなかったことを確認しています。そしてその時、すでにジェシカとジョージ君、マドラ君は肖像画の前に行った。そして彼らはこの
in this room, in this place, in this moment, in this minimally small bit of time and space is obvious. Only one of the four of them could have set the letter there in our blind spot. We can't tell who put it there, but it's obvious that one of the four did it. ですか。It was pitiful to watch Dr. Nanjo frantically pleading his innocence. It was probably a normal reaction that anyone would give if they were suspected. Kumasawa was the same. Ever since Jessica voiced her suspicions of, of Kumasawa murdering Kanon, Kumasawa had been totally flustered. That was why Genji's still calm appearance looked so bold. Aunt Natsuki pointed the barrel of the gun. Genji, お親方様の一番の下辺だとお認めいただけたということ。このような場ではありますが、とても名誉なことだと存じます。しかし、この手紙を置いたのは私ではありません。それを私が鵜呑みにできると思いますかお前が首謀者に決まっていますあるいは熊沢も南条先生もその共犯かもしれないマリアちゃんもですなた content to suspect just the, the adults and Natsuki pointed the gun relentlessly at Maria too but Maria acted as though nothing had happened or maybe she thought she would be fine if she was shot マリアちゃん。今この場ではもう幼いから疑いの枠から外すという段階にない。だから誰もが昨夜からずっと持ってきた疑問をもう一度ぶつけさせてもらいます。昨日バラ庭園であなたに手紙を渡したベアトリーチ
マリアもよせ状況が分かってんのかそんなこと言って何になるってんだ無意味な挑発はよしやがるってんだマリアには分かんないよ considering that Nazi is gonna shoot up the place yeah バトラたちは誰が犯人ならいいの自分たちの中に犯人がいると信じたくない時だけベアトリーチェを信じて親しい人を殺された恨みを晴らしたい時だけ暴力をぶつけられる人間の犯人を信じたがってベアトリーチェを否定するだから見えないんだよベアトリーチェはいるお前たちには見えない黙りなさいあなたが犯人だと決めつけたくはありませんがこの状況を不愉快にさせて楽しんでいる利的行為者であることはもはや疑いの余地もありません<笑>ならどうするのマリアを撃つ別にいいよもうすぐ黄金鏡の扉が開かれるそして全ての死者がよみがえる今や死は恐れるべきことではないんだよ<笑>でも夏日おばさんどうか落ち着いて。マリアちゃんを撃つ理由は何もないどうか冷静に手紙は挑発するけど何も恐れることはない犯人だって明日が怖いんだ警察が怖いんだ you think a quote unquote witch is afraid of the cops. この島は今無秩序に支配されているけれどそれは台風で隔離されているからだけに過ぎない台風が過ぎれば秩序が戻ってくるだからおばさん撃っちゃいけないなんでジョージ兄さんはそんなにも冷静なんだよこの4人の中に犯人がいるいやあるいは4人が全員来るかもしれないこの中にエヴァおばさんたちを殺した犯人がいるかもしれないってのになんでそんなに冷静なんだよ僕だって犯人を見つけて殺してやりたい気持ちはあるさでもそれは単なる蛮行だ僕は罪の裁きを秩序に任せる、oh、my God. だからどんなに疑わしくても引き金を引いてはいけないんだ、yeah, don't make things any worse. ジョジョージの兄貴に同じだ夏日おばさんここはちょいと冷静になろうぜとにかく撃つのはまずいぜ<笑>こういう時はよ頭を後ろに反らしてクールになれって3回唱えるといいらしいぜはっきりさせておきます魔女などいないここは六軒島でここは後宮家の本家屋敷です
Oh my god. You're so... I feel... All that is making her this mental because <laughs> she's had this special with the gun. Those words were the final words of farewell. That settled everything. <laughs> Fucking hell, Natsuki. No one or canon hates you. To protect her daughter, Aunt Natsuki would regard any suspicious person as an enemy. The only reason George Aniki and I were standing on this side was because, by coincidence, we had a clear alibi regarding the letter. If I hadn't approached the portrait, I would also be at the other end of that gun barrel, treated like a criminal. But even though part of me thought that, part of me was thinking that chasing all the suspicious people from this room would finally guarantee our safety. Genji-san and Kumasawa-san and Dr. Nanja, all of them were on grandfather's side. Maybe you could say that once Maria started blindly believing in Beatrice, she was also on Grandfather's side. That's right, they're all suspicious. But is this really okay? If we throw out all of the suspicious ones in such a lawless way, will we still have the right to defy the lawlessness of the witch? get any more worse <laughs> okay well I think this is a good time for me to end it up there oh man how many parts we were in that though so you know we'll just end it from here so just to pick it off for the next part. Like, comment, and subscribe. Well, who knows if Ant Natsuki is going to end up shooting or not. So have a good one.